a look at the beautiful blossom and the peaceful, quiet backyard. And uh, we will do a blah 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 up here. Let's see, I will tell you the story. So the story starts from. Uh, let me start start from the story from these couple of days, and. Uh, <clears throat> This is the right height. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. So, <coughs> okay. So, I. So, last week we had vacation, and before vacation it was very stressful, and so many things happening, it's just too much. And uh, yesterday, I there was something, and, and before the vacation, and uh, I was involved in uh, in a car accident. It's a small accident. I got my car scratched, and uh, I am safe. I was not hurt. Nobody was hurt. We could drive away. Nothing happened. Nothing much happened. But. Um, <clears throat> You know, any time when there is an accident happening, no matter how small it is, it always makes us really a very bad feeling, no matter it's whose fault. Once we are involved in, in this kind of accident, we involved into something wrong, we feel very, very bad and uh, we self-blame. Why did I do this? And just. Uh, it's just a whole day in this very dark mood. So I was very sad and I was thinking, gosh, what I, I couldn't do anything. What is the meaning of my life? I could not even drive a car. And even when I was driving, there is something happening. And uh, my friends, my family, they never had problem. Why should I be having problem? And uh, is that because I, I just worthless? And you, you, I started to doubt about the meaning of my life because I made mistake and uh, I made so meaningless mistake. And um, anyway, uh, I went back home and talked with my family and it was soft, I start to feel better and nobody blamed anybody and uh, there was no harsh feeling in the family and very comforting and very understanding and uh, the next day I put the car to the garage and uh, in the garage um, I saw there was another car as I, as I was pulling in another car beside me I said, oh, that was not a good, that does not look good. A beautiful black car, very new, and smashed at the head. It's totally smashed in, the, in front of the car. So I was, I, I was talking to the garage person. I said, that does not look good. And then he said, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look good. Brandy new, 2,000 miles. I don't know, suddenly I was feeling all my trouble. It becomes so small and so tiny. When you compare with someone who is always better than you, of course, you feel bad. But when you put yourself in ground zero and put yourself into Put yourself into perspective, put your situation into perspective and see what is happening around. Sometimes you may not be the worst. There are people who are suffering even more, who is even more bad luck, worse luck than you. You were thinking you had the worst luck, but uh, somebody else is still outbeat you in in worst luck. So 
just、uh, appreciate appreciate the things what we already have, and even in the worst situation, even in the time when you are very down, you could not think other way. Try to see something else. Try to see around, around you. We should see around us. There are many garage. There must be many people suffering. In 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 there are, must be very much many accidents. Not yourself is having trouble. And、uh, every morning in the afternoon or any time, you drive. You see the. The 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 bouchon the bouchon, you see the traffic jam. Maybe because somebody having having an accident, so you are not the worst. When you are very very down, make a comparison. Compare with the people who is less fortunate than you. And、uh, it kind of.、Uh, Brighten up or lift up my spirit. Do I make sense? I'm not saying that.、Uh, I am not trying to say that you need to feel lucky that other people are not lucky. No, when you are not lucky, you have to see another person that you are not the most unlucky. And there is always things happening, and it also help us to understand. When other people are not lucky, it's okay because we have time that we are even more unlucky than others. The world is like this. We just need some compassion and empathy to the world, and this way you can you can have a better spirit instead of hating, instead of anger. When you see all these things, there is no point to to be anger to 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 be angry and、uh, to have those meaningless angers. And、uh, another thing is about yesterday. Yesterday, I I was very busy. I went to pick up my. I went to. Drive my son back home, and then I need to pick up another son, my elder son, and he was in a different place. I rush out of our house, and I could not find my phone. I look here and there, could not find, and it's already late. I need to go, and then I just drive, and I went to my workplace to look for my phone. I didn't find nobody. I used a friend's cell phone, a school place cell phone, and call my son and tell him I will be pick up. Anyway, it was I was so stressed, and、uh, I lost my phone at the time when my husband was traveling and could not help. Everything rely on me. I have the pressure. I have the stress. And I could not just digest all this stress. It start to hurt, and I feel so bad. What is the meaning? I again, I doubt the meaning of myself, of my existence. Why do we? I, t, 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 even the telephone, I I lose, and then I will start to think some other people still lost their phones. Anyway. I don't need to blah blah blah. All this, it's just hurt. It hurts. It hurts when you have all this stress in front of you, and it it's like a dark cloud, clouds and overshadow your mind, and your your brain just fried. You could not function. It was a very very dark moment. Very dark feeling. You feel you are in a very dark narrow. Alley, narrow, tiny road, and you cannot walk out. And anyway, so I just drove to the place and look around. My son was in a different place. Anyway, finally he came to me, 
And I felt so good. I, I could not love him more at that moment because I found him. Otherwise, he was in a different place. Gosh, just a stress. And still in, in the neighboring city. Anyway, he could take bus at the end. But uh, when you are in the stress, you just cannot function yourself. I could not. My brain could not function. And um, then my son came to the car. And I said, I lost my car. And I could not find you. And I felt so bad at the very last try. I said, maybe you call me. Because I called from home, I called from school. My cell phone does not even, did not even answer. My cell phone did not even have this ringtone. Something must be wrong. It has a ringtone, but just no answer. Something must be wrong. And uh, he called the cell phone. And I heard the cell phone <laughs> ringing. Almost tear running my eyes. I couldn't love my son more. The cell phone is just in the car. It fall down and under the car seat. Stress. It's hurting sometimes. It hurts us. And we could not function ourselves. Let me see if I was filming. Yes, I was filming. And um, and uh, everything, you can solve it. If you do not die today, you can always live through it. Another thought I am thinking is today I had a painting class and I showed students my painting and the video of how the painting was done. My painting was not good, but uh, at least, uh, yeah, we can learn something. And then there are students, uh, students do it. One student said she spent almost the whole hour, she spent the whole class quietly doing things and putting on the background painting and putting on the color. And uh, she, have, she has not yet finished. And at the end of the class, she said, I hate this painting. I so understand this feeling because painting, until you finally finish it, it was not good. Doing a painting is a process. It's putting a beautiful piece of white paper to make it dirty to make it ugly until you finally make it beautiful. It's a process. We all suck until we don't. That is so true to painting, to so many things we do, to when we do video, when we do our work, we all just absolutely dumb suck until we don't until we solve those problems until we untie the messy knots before that life is a mess our work is a mess only until the very last moment we solve this problem. Once we solve problem, it's a joy of one second. Our work is eternity and our joy is so temporary. It's such a flash moment, but it was every milliseconds of that moment. That moment contains all the joy that can counter the pain we went through all the time. 
Life has no end. I am happy now. I put myself into the right perspective now. But after this moment, I will have new project. I will have new job. I will still suck until I will not suck. <laughs> yeah. Do not worry. When you do not solve a problem, many problems are too big to solve immediately. Today I am happy because I have done one thing. One day, one thing. You chop up the big problems into small things. You need to write a report. You need to write an, an essay. Think about your structure. When you think through the structure, you are already done, done one step. You should be happy and be proud of that step, and move on to the next step. We all suck until we don't. When we solve the problem, when we stand on top of it, we are so clear. But the problem is that before we solve it, we are. Always suffering. We always suffer and struggle. That is life. I wish you happy every day and、uh, enjoy every day. And I need to be busy with my life to get into trouble again and solve those problems. Again, I love you. I really do. Do 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 do.